Guys, Jackie M, welcome back to Masters of Malaysian Cuisine Series 6. And we have friends of Nusantara and our final friend of Nusantara is Lisa Yeo. And she is originally from Malaysia, now based in Germany. And she is going to be cooking a uh, sambal goreng, a vegetarian sambal goreng. And we also have Chef Rene Jufri from Dubai, and he's going to be co-hosting her. Guys, make sure you say hello. Let us know where you're watching from. Don't forget to sign up at malaysianchefs.com slash join today if you want a copy of Lisa's beautiful recipe and also all our other sessions recipes. So, um, and in the meantime, yeah, just do a hashtag live and also a hashtag replay if you're watching a replay and sit back and chill. And we're just going to come back to you in 30 seconds once we've shown you a little clip from Tourism Malaysia. Welcome back, Jackie. I'm from Masters of Malaysian Cuisine, and this is Series 6, Friends of Nusantara, session number 8 with Lisa Yeo over in Germany, wie geht's? And we uh, have Rene Jufi from Dubai in the UAE, and just a special welcome also to our viewers from our Facebook partner group, Masa Apa Tak Jadi Hari Ini, Apa Kabar Semua? Don't forget, say hello, hello, you nut recipe, and look for the daftar at malaysianchefs.com slash join today. Okay, guys, uh, all the best. I'll let Renee and Lisa take over from here, and I'll be back in a little bit. Thank you, Jackie. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Lisa. All good? Hello. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Yeah, sehr, sehr good. Very good, my dear. Yeah. So, very good morning to you, I think, or yeah, afternoon, almost uh, just in afternoon, right? So, my end, uh, late afternoon, and back in Malaysia, good evening, uh, some part of the world, maybe late evening or early, early in the morning. So, welcome back to MOMC Series 6. So, we're at the end of Series 6. Very excited. Uh, so, all of you, welcome back. Uh, thank you for always, uh, you know, viewing and uh, commenting so let us know all right where are you watching from so like now you have north coming from singapore i think north salim ah mama is watching all right no <laughs> and, no no uh, that's my auntie <laughs> yeah I think, oh, all right Aris Thomas. all right so there's a lot of viewers already popping in uh, trying to watch now live we're going live so let us know uh where you're watching from hashtag us and if you are watching later on on replay let us know later but now we are on live uh, with collaboration of Tourism Malaysia as well. And today for Series 6, mm -hmm. in particular, we have friends from Nusantara. So I invited uh, Lisa, Lisa Yo, so from Singapore, part Malaysia, now based in Frankfurt, Germany. Um, you know, can't wait uh, to see what she has for us and the recipe that she wants to share for us So today. So Lisa, tell us what you have for us today. All right. Renee, okay. today I'm going to make sambal goreng. Wow. Okay. <laughs> sambal goreng. But um, this is uh, it's vegetarian. Uh, of course, you can make it non-vegetarian. You want to add some other meat or you want to add prawns in it. You can make it non-vegetarian. But today, I'm making it vegetarian, sambal goreng. Okay. And for those of you who doesn't know, yeah, for those of you who doesn't know what sambal goreng is, sambal goreng is typically when, um, you know, when we have festive season, right, Rene? Uh, Hari Raya or special occasion, we tend to have sambal goreng and then we have uh, lode and all these come together. So it's a bit festive. In Germany, it's very cold, so something to cheer me up is actually quite good. Yeah. Probably something, you know, okay. festive, uh, festive coming towards you, right? In the Europe. So that is festive coming towards you. <laughs> so. I yeah. forgot. Say, yes, Chef Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> I'm, watching. I'm watching from KL. Hi, Chef. Hi, Chef. So, yeah. Yeah, for, okay. for some, uh, Emily from Lisa, hi from Frankfurt. Okay. 
So let's start, Lisa. So, yeah. from time, so we'll shall we start? Okay. Yep. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, the ingredients to do this, yeah, it's like you use onions, garlic, ginger, uh, galangang, lemongrass, and some dry chili. This is uh, the basic ingredient that I have used. It took too long to actually blend the whole thing or to show everything, so I have already made the pre-mix, yeah, I have pre-blended everything all together. So this is uh, what it is here. Yeah, Rene, I listened to your tip. Uh, you know, at one point you said, uh, when you want to blend, blend it with oil and not with water. I actually yeah. started doing it, okay? <laughs> I am not joking. If you blend it with water, it will all over, Rene, and then everything the tea. Right? So, so yeah, then the, um, all... Yeah. <laughs> It's a very good tip. So then we have also bay leaves here in in um, Singapore in Malaysia. We use uh, daun salam. It's a uh, plus minus the same as what we have, and then a bit of uh, turmeric, a little bit of uh, two tablespoon of uh, tomato puree, and then brown sugar one tablespoon, and a little bit of salt later. Yeah. So these are the basic ingredient of the sambal uh, sambal tumis. Shall I start? Yes, please. So you have a lot okay. of your viewers, your followers. Yep. Uh, I can see. Uh, even your family or uh, Kathleen. Lynn is walking, uh, watching right now. And then uh, Melati is walking, like uh, watching right now. All right. Zarina. Hi, Lisa. It's Zarina Nadine Mom. Nadine's mom. Okay. Thank you for everyone for watching, right? Tuning in. Oh, so, Nadine's mom is watching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <but laughs> Thank you. Anyway. You know, uh, you. Chef, from our our group of uh, Malaysian or Master Cuisine, so he's mm -hmm. the vegan chef who cooks Malaysian food vegan. So he's watching you right now. So he's going to take your recipe and try it out later on. Yes, Chef Vic. Uh, this is the Chef uh, Dave, right? The vegan. Yeah. Uh -uh. This is uh, this is basically my family's recipe. Uh, my mom does it, uh, and uh, my sister, my entire family makes this. Actually, the idea with the tomato puree, I will tell you later, came from my sister. Uh, she, yeah, hang on, yeah. So let me just, uh, I will try not to put my hand inside. Just feel the heat. <laughs> okay. Alright, so you're starting with your paste, right here? Yeah, the whole paste in. Yeah, so just uh, to go through, so you have your own YouTube channel, do you? Yes, I do. And I did it for my son before because he was studying in London and yeah. uh, he was going like, mommy, mommy, can you please uh, show, uh, tell me how to make this, to make that? And he goes like, are you already born so late here? Then uh, I decided to make a YouTube just for him. So I've added in the turmeric. Now I'm going to put in the tomato puree. Uh -huh. The reason why we use this tomato puree is uh, typically sambal goreng, we will use asam. Yeah, I asam. But the problem with I asam is very simple. Some asam can to be really masam. Some asam or sour. Some tamarind tend to be not sour at all. So you cannot yeah. gauge. Yeah? So my clever little sister, Lin, told me, Kaka, you have to use um, tomato puree. Try it. So I tried it and it turned out perfect. Yeah, that's it. That's and it's a tomato puree in. Yeah, it's, it's one, one of a good tip as well. You know, probably down in uh, Europe, especially you in Germany, maybe it's a little bit difficult to get the right tamarind, right? As you mentioned, some are sweet, some are sour, yeah. some don't even taste like tamarind <laughs> because of probably, you know, where, where it comes from. Yeah. So, well, obviously, now you substitute yeah. it with uh, tomato, tomato paste, or tomato puree, which is easily available. Wow. <laughs> Rene, if only you can smell. Yeah. This also I follow from you. Yeah. If I put my face, I will burn my yeah, face. Burn face. <laughs> <laughs> so you you learn all the tips. That's good. You know, it's uh... that. <laughs> so you have uh, a. Actually, lot of, actually uh... watching this, uh, 
masters of Malaysian cuisine. Really, you don't only just learn how to cook, but you actually listen carefully and there are many, many tips that are given. So it is really, regardless whether you can really cook or you cannot cook, you, you cannot possibly know everything. So everyone, watch this program. <laughs> uh, it smells so good. It's uh so you you now uh sorting or you cooking it up on the fire, right? So that was the paste. Yep. That you blended earlier, and then yeah. you add the paste. Mhm. Mm yeah. So and the tomato puree and the. All right. Could you could you just show to the cameras for for the viewer to see what is happening right now? Yeah. Just, all right. Lovely. So what what we like to do with the paste okay. right now? What, what what will happen next? Uh, you have to cook it until the oil separates. Yeah. Uh, the the paste needs to be uh, really really cooked. So to know that it, the oil will separate nicely. So we do this. I don't do this at high uh, high heat. Instead, I do it at about like a, on a induction. This is uh, six. Okay. Huh? So so chef. Do you have some patience? Our vegan okay. chef. Uh, he say goes well with eggplant as well. Your sambal goreng. It does goes well with eggplant as well. Yeah. The face or the sambal goreng? Or the sambal goreng? Yeah, it's the sambal goreng uh, ingredient. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, technology today, Renee, mm -hmm. only shows you uh, face and you can hear the voice. Well, you cannot yeah. smell. Uh, oh. Yeah. You know, next, maybe, you know, <laughs> also they, they were trying to develop uh, all these, uh, what do you call, sense, sense uh, virtual uh, interaction. So you can smell next time. We try to work on that. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> well, unless you do a cookbook together. Let's see, yeah. So, together and I can smell it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I really, really miss Malaysia, Renee. Yeah, yeah. So Talking much. Malaysia, you know, where, yeah. where would you like to be back? You know, if you you can travel back to Malaysia, where do you really miss to be back? Where would you like to go? Oh, oh my God! Now we have this Corona thing. Every uh -huh. time I look at the picture, I miss yeah. Redang. Wow. I miss diving. I want to go to Redang. That's Redang. the thing I would like to do. The first yeah. thing when I can fly already, I want to fly straight to Rada and then dive into the sea. Okay, right, from top to bottom. All right, from, from, <laughs> so you, you just exit the plane and dive into the ocean. <laughs> so you have uh, Michelle. Michelle. I have to tell you, should wait for it, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Redang is really, really beautiful when you... When you dive in Redang, right, you you get to see so many fishes. Like when I I dive also in uh, in Thailand, but the amount of uh, fish that you see the underwater world is completely different between Thailand and Malaysia. Malaysia you see more fishes. In Thailand you see more men because everybody go diving. <laughs> yeah. It's in Redang itself, uh, it's quite a a well maintained uh, islands that they have around there. So it's quite reserved. Yeah. You, know? That's you you can dive easily and you can see actual nature what's uh, in the water. You know that's not really crowded. Ah, okay. Mm, let me show you. Okay. okay. So yeah, if, you know, okay. is there any, okay. any viewers uh, who is watching who have any question for Lisa? Just uh, type to us. Uh, it will pop up on the screen. So I will try to help you and uh, deliver it to Lisa, and we get the answer for you. All right. So Lisa. Yeah. Renee, I am also. Mm. Yeah, you were saying. Go ahead. No. I wanted to say Chef Ismail, Dato Chef Ismail Ahmad also said hello. I used to cook with him. Uh, we used to do Malaysian food promotion, uh, not just in Frankfurt per se, but also in Belgrade. And uh, working with him is quite funny. He is very funny to work with and very fun, very 
hardworking guy. And uh, but you know the the idea that Malaysian food is showcased in countries where you don't think would want to would be able to appreciate our food. You'd be surprised yeah. that there is like a yearly demand for it. And they actually kept calling us back and then uh, the promotion is normally for one to one week, around one week. And there's a lot of like uh, food demonstration or TV shows or um, also buffet in the hotel. So Dr. Chef Ismail is someone I love and someone I learned from a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can see you. You're quite active with him uh, when when he does a lot of uh, Europe, uh, what do you call uh, promotions. So you cook uh, next to yeah. him. Yeah. So technically, you're 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 his yeah. sister. And he always got me. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> and every five minutes, he told me za za. Now I miss him. <laughs> <laughs> Your your miss is uh, shouting in the kitchen, calling. This is how you Correct, Okay, so, let me show you now. The color again. Yeah. All right. Wow. Okay. So at this point, at this point here, I just uh, drop the temperature first, okay. and my family uses um, what we call the coconut. Yeah. For our sambal goreng, and some okay. some I do know that some people do not do that. Yeah, they just use ayam sam saja, or uh, only ayam sam. But for my family, we use uh, coconut inside here. Uh, it becomes a little bit more. It it, it, it it's creamy. It, it kind of balances the entire taste, and it just. Uh, for me, it's really wonderful. So I mix uh, 100 uh, ml of, uh, that is 150, of coconut. And yeah. then I'm adding about, because I don't like it too too creamy from the coconut, I add about 100 ml of water inside. Okay. Now we're going to so just let it boil for a while. Balance up the uh, coconut milk with some water so that it doesn't get too, too creamy, right? You were saying, too heavy. Yeah. So, correct. Lisa, correct. Uh, yeah, correct. Chef, no. Our chef has a question for you. He's asking, mm -hmm. uh, what is your favorite Malaysian dish, if I'm not mistaken, or Malaysian food that uh, you love so much? <gasps> Nasi lemak. Uh, <laughs> there you go, Chef Dave. You got your answer. <laughs> and then uh, we have one one viewer as well was asking, uh, what is your YouTube channel? Is called. Try Zaza, try. Everything in life, you must try. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. So you can see here again um, how it looks like. But um, at this point here, what I normally do is I would add in a moment. The uh, kacang. I some people this is uh, long beans. I, uh, okay. Long beans in Germany is very difficult to get most of the time. Uh, so I use uh, local product. We go green. Uh, this is just the French beans. So okay. I'll throw it in. Um, I do know that there are, there are my, many people also they, when they do this they also fry the beans. You can do that, but for me I prefer to have a bite. Yeah, when I eat it. So. So they is the uh, also then, known as. Only if only you can smell one this. The, yeah, you know it, it's one of uh, my yeah. favorite as well. Now I. Eat. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I just say it was one of my favorite as well. Yeah, all good. The long beans. The sambal This going. is a, uh, a brown sugar. Okay. And then. So, uh, Chef Dave, he, he said uh, he was surprised. Oh my God, I just uh, fall in love with the style. See, our Chef Dave uh, like your style a lot. He might be your next follower. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> and also, he just took, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, coconut milk in his sambal as well. So, he shared that to you. Yeah. Ah. Oh, nice. I, I think when you put some coconut milk inside, it's really good. 
But sometimes I don't have coconut milk, so I use just normal milk. And in Germany, we can get uh, cream or fresh cream very easily or sour cream. So sometimes I just use uh, sour cream. We have to make do with what we have normally. Yeah. It's, it's the okay. Abroad, uh, right? You have to pardon me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So here is, um, can you see that? Yeah. I have um, tempe, tahu, uh -huh. right? So I'm going to add in the tofu and the tempe inside here. That's what you see here. Yeah. <laughs> There are times, I mean, there are, you can cut it bigger, yeah, but for what I'm trying to do today, I make them small cubes. Okay. And then I have pre-fried this, so you need to fry these first, yeah, because the that? time is not enough. Uh, just tofu and tempeh. Okay. Yeah. So you just uh, give it a nice mix. So you have uh, a chef watching from Sabah saying hi. Hi, Hello. my mom. Ma, Ma in uh, from Subang. Ma is watching. <laughs> Hello, Ma. <laughs> okay. This thing is almost ready, Renee. Yeah. Let me okay. just uh, give you a look. Oh, mm. oh, can you see that? Yeah. Hang on yeah, a minute. Can. We can, we can. Can see? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Can cha cha. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to just cook it for maybe another two, three minutes and then we can start with uh, putting it all together. Okay. Do, uh, pardon me a little very, bit, I always wipe very, and wipe. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you're very like uh, everything to be tidy and you know, <laughs> you, no mess, no mess. <laughs> Clean as you go. Sure. Okay, this one here is bawang goreng. Yeah, these are three medium bawang goreng that I use. Uh, I slice, I julien them, and then I fry them together. Uh, I fry them until it's uh, the minute it starts to turn brown, like golden brown. You have to remove it from the heat, or else um, there is residual heat inside here that would yeah. make it like uh, black after that. Yeah. So you must know the time. Yeah. Yeah, it will to cook. Yeah. Mm. And this is a uh, chili, uh, red chili, three red chilies, and I just slice it and I gave it, I give it a fry. So let me just uh, show you how it looks like roughly now because the oil has uh, already split yeah. uh, surface. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay. okay. So what yeah. I will do now is I'm going to turn off the heat immediately mm -hmm. and throw in the rest. You have uh, Ainun Baba saying uh, hello, Liza. Hello, Ainun. All right, so that's the fire. And I'm just uh, giving it a nice stir. Yeah. yeah. So Chef Dave say, oh my God, with white rice, this is heaven. Yeah, Chef Dave, it's uh, sambal goreng with white rice. That's it. It's enough. <laughs> it's not even for me. That's enough. But I think Lisa is yeah. uh, going to show us a yeah. way how to use sambal goreng. So let's see. That's quite interesting. Correct. So it surprises of, especially the Europeans. Yeah. You know, some of you you you're not a fan of rice, right? Not every day you eat rice, right? So she's going to share us uh, a unique way how to serve sambal goreng. It's quite interesting. Chef Ismail say yeah. Uh, so yeah, be careful of your hip. <laughs> Chef Ismail say takut yeah, takut. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let me start now. I have uh, prepared something like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let me just clean my hand. So for all the viewers who just popped have... in, maybe, you know. So uh, we have uh, Lisa Yu, all right, from Frankfurt, Germany, cooking for a special today on Series 6, um, Friends from Nusantara. So... If you missed it out earlier, still continue watching. So you can always uh, replay later on and hashtag us replay and uh, follow everything and get the recipe later on. So make sure that you are signed up on uh, our webpage, www.malaysianchef.com slash join today and get your recipe later on when the series six 
Emac is ready. All right, but let's follow Lisa what she's uh, having right now. She wants to show us something. All right. Okay. Um, in uh, a lot of uh, people. Uh, especially the orang putih or the whites, yeah, um, they don't really fancy um, tofu because they think that tofu has absolutely no flavor, yeah. Uh -huh. So we, we, in order to entice them to try, you need to do things to the food must look anyway and say, come, come, eat me. You understand, not? <laughs> so yeah. this is this is what what you need in order for the uh, for them to entice them to eat your food so what i'm going to do now is um this is uh, uh, pa in in Bula german bon. we say konik pat abu lavon okay abu lavon i speak french uh, <laughs> so i'm going to throw in this piece here uh, right. inside the abu lavon so for, for some of the viewers he might, have you know, might be wondering what is bulavon right now, right? So it's a, actually a puff pastry, right, Lisa? It's a puff pastry uh, shaped to yes. a cup. Yeah. Yeah, so I also make coconut bechamel because um, with puff pastries like this, and if the sambal goreng is uh, dry, then everything is dry when you put it in your mouth, yeah? So you need to wet it a little bit. So I make a, a rather mild, uh, not so thick uh, coconut bechamel. I just okay. drop it inside first so that it gets a bit of soaking. All right. So you, you kind of uh, Europeanize the coconut uh, sauce yeah you can coconut bechamel see yeah i, I <laughs> make coconut bechamel and um i know maybe there's there's no such thing as coconut bechamel but it's okay lah i can call it coconut bechamel it is yeah. uh, coconut basically with uh, a bit of flour i actually use butter like the way you make bechamel but instead of using uh, using just uh, milk, you use uh, coconut milk, and then um, you you dilute it a little bit. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. So, so you have uh, Edwin. Edwin is watching. Edwin is very proud of uh, his mama, his mommy. <laughs> and it was it was because of him that I started doing the YouTube. Yeah. Because he was always hungry. And always asking me how to cook this, how to cook that. And yeah. Okay. All right. So, Chef Dave is asking for how many people are you cooking today, Lisa? It's, it's like, uh, as if like you uh, can share oh. for the others, you can share for us. <laughs> you can come to Frankfurt. You got aeroplane or not? Come to Frankfurt. Airplane help. <laughs> and yeah, airplane a lot, but then um, okay. I just oil this a little bit. Okay, so you have uh, your friends saying uh, you tried your sambal and all your dishes. They they love it so much. And then Chef is my oh. saying uh, thank you, Lisa. You know he you, I probably you you've been a part of a lot of uh, his uh, exciting uh, travel with food. You know. Oh, when Chef is my cook, yeah, he likes to do this. Throw, 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 and around, throw. And after that, he said, maybe. <laughs> That's what he likes to do. Okay, so I need to do this. So, moment. We are going to have a little bit of a burger. Okay. So, what do you have there? That's, at the bottom? Uh, uh, this is rice, yeah. Okay. Just uh, just rice. I put it in, and then uh, we will have the sambal goreng in the middle. All right. See, so uh, it's not like a you know you this this ring. I I, I back your card. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Ah, so I I don't want to make the sambal goreng a little. A bit boring. Yeah. I'd like to make it um, more interesting, so that um, you know when people look it's, at it. It's for even I think I would say even for the for some European markets. You know this is quite interesting for them, right? Uh, rather just having a, a bowl of rice and then you top it up with mm -hmm. some goreng. For for us, 
we 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 are very happy if we have that. But this is one good way, you know. Some of the viewers, you know, for afternoon tea, probably right, Lisa, or even during during the festive, you can do something uh, quite interesting. No, yes. Wow. Can you see that it's coming? Yeah. So uh, Chef Dave is commenting. He say uh, when the border open, he will definitely fly. And then he say uh, this, this is like <laughs> fine dining version <laughs> of serving food. Yeah. <laughs> the the last time when Chef Dave was with uh, what is that uh, raw Chef Yin, and um, oh, yeah. he was going like in the hotel. They have to do everything but make it beautiful. So I uh-huh. thought like, okay, I make my food beautiful. <laughs> You also need to push uh, and show that you can make it beautiful as well, yeah. So one one uh, viewer from Facebook user, okay, I also... uh, wrap the sambal goreng with avocado and salsa with a touch of mozzarella in flour tortilla. There you go. Something interesting to try, yeah. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Next round, I'm going to do that. Yeah. So, I'm going to drizzle the bechamel sauce over the this thing again so that it looks like a little bit inviting yeah yeah maybe a little bit like on the oh, okay uh, rice <laughs> so it looks like a a uh, rice burger kind of thing right it genau of... uh, it, <laughs> in german when we say genau that means correct yes. oh, exactly oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then i put in a little bit of black sesame make beautiful Okay. So a okay, little any- bit of from other viewers. So let's uh, just type it up. All right. Don't be shy. Ask Lisa anything that you wanna ask regarding the sambal goreng or how she end up uh, cooking. Yeah, quite interesting. How how did you end up cooking, Lisa? I mean, tell us from where and how when. <laughs> My mother. <laughs> oh. My eyes. I started cooking when I was about 10 years old. If there was a time called child abuse, my mother sure go to jail, but lucky, don't have. <laughs> so um, whenever I do something wrong, when we cook wrongly, I remember once when I cook wrongly, because you know, all my friends standing out there, you know, looking at me, hey, come on, let's go and play. And this little girl, oh, yeah, I want to play, I want to play, but cannot, must cook. So I really rushed to cook and my mom got so angry and she threw everything away and I had to recook it. So can you imagine the tears I had? And from that day onwards, I respect timing and I respect that you have to cook properly. You cannot just for fun cook. Yeah? You cannot do that. So you have to really be careful. So yes, it was my mom who actually is my teacher. Okay. Yeah, I mean, everyone, I, I would yeah. say most of us, uh, especially... You know, we learn from our mom, or our grandmother, and then we have to get scolded to remember, all right? <laughs> so that we don't do the same thing. <laughs> we respect our food yeah. and everything, you know. This is quite important as well, yeah. People, you know, it is not easy to buy ingredients and you find money for it, right? <laughs> so, and you want to yeah. do it right. Yeah, but this, mm-hmm. but these days, the children, all they do is just sit down there and uh, play their computer <laughs> you realize yeah, that huh so lisa uh, there's, a, there's someone asking can you freeze your uh, samba goal yes okay yes you can freeze it but okay. in order to freeze please cool it down completely and then you can vacuum pack and uh freeze it definitely okay. Yeah. Okay, Rene. Ten, ten, ten. Um, yeah. Just. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Wow, they look like. Yeah. There we go. So the one in the path is the. Ten, ten, ten. Oh, by the way, in the. This one in the middle here is sambal goreng curry puff. Wow. <laughs> sambal goreng curry puff. See? You know. See? <laughs> Or you can sell them to, to, to the, uh, to the like, you know, the South American. You can say sambal goreng uh, empanadas. Or... 
<laughs> Semua goreng curry puff. Okay, but never mind. I'm so sorry. This is the first time everybody has to hear you call it sambal goreng curry puff. <laughs> okay. Shall, do you want me to cut it so you can see how it looks like inside? Yeah, probably you can you can uh, cut it one or tell us uh, how does it taste like you know, with the viewers. What what kind of flavor probably you know that you know, they will expect. Yeah. If I yeah, were to not, turn around and say very delicious, maybe <laughs> I'm lying, right? <laughs> so, but then I don't have anyone. But let me just cut some of uh, the curry puff. Yeah. Yeah. I make a lot of sambal uh, curry puff. So, okay. yeah, there we go. That sambal goreng curry puff inside with the curry wow. the thing. Amazing. Okay, I try. This one I made the day before. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try the one from here. I have to dish yeah. out this one as well. Hang on. Yeah, everyone giving a thumbs up to Lisa, you know, really supporting your cooking. Love what you did. You know, and the chef Dave say it's amazing. So, other viewers, if uh, you have any question, just ask, all right? Just share it. Even uh, who just popped in or who been following us from the beginning, all right? If you want to go back and watch later on, you can always uh, hashtag it. You can always uh, watch it on replay, hashtag replay. And don't forget to subscribe and sign in at www.malaysianchefs.com slash join today. You can see that on the screen on top. That way you go and you get the recipe that all the chefs, all the friends of Nusantara, even Lisa's recipe later on, to be shared on our Emac Series 6. Okay. Okay, this is the... Okay, I will try this one, yeah? Because the rest is a bit heavy for me. Okay. I like to cook, but I don't like to eat. <laughs> oh, so that's, Bismillah. That's how you, say, uh, you, you maintain your, your slender look and everything <laughs> so control your food uh, i think so because by the time you cook and all the smell gets into you you just cannot eat anymore i'm sure yeah. you are also slim and you are working in the kitchen all the time <laughs> as a chef <laughs> mm. uh, okay no no words can describe okay mm. is it good is it good now, <laughs> very good. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's really, really good. But if I were to, maybe I can ask. I have a, I have a willing volunteer. Yeah, uh, a white man, and I ask whether he's uh, willing to try. Uh, because you know, if I say that it's delicious, then maybe I'm lying, right? I let a one orang putih try. Okay. Uh, would you like to try? Hang on. I, uh, burger or the vulavon? Vulavon? <laughs> vulavon. The vulavon? So I have to cut. He, he knows the choice. Mm. A good one. You know? Mm -hmm. Hang on. You need a plate and a knife. Okay. You cut first. So who you have uh, trying? Uh, tell us. Hi. <laughs> this is the orang putih. <laughs> this is the orang putih that is supposed to try. Yeah, yeah. so let's see uh, Frank, right? So let's see Frank try. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yeah, it's and it's in my sambal goreng, you know. So okay, then ta -ta! Moment, of <laughs> moment of truth. Don't exaggerate, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't exaggerate. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he turns immediately when uh, he tastes it, he can speak Malay. See? How beautiful is cooking. You have to make Malay food to make everybody speak Malay. <laughs> No, it's no. not oh, you have to eat uh, German food, but you already say genau. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's um, the whole thing here. Is there any question anybody wants to ask me or Sorry, Renee? Do. All right, so I, I don't see any any anyone typing for any question yet, but maybe 
you know, if we might miss out uh, later on, we can check uh, on our Facebook, even the YouTube on the comments and we can reply to your comments and even Lisa can pop in and uh, give your feedbacks and com uh, reply to your comments. So just quick question is up. All right. Now, now you make me, uh, you know, tempted. Mm -hmm. I didn't have my life yet. Come on. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, the spicy Very level, sorry. Uh, you know, how, how do you recommend, uh, is it, sh should it be spicy or should it be sweet or what, what do you reckon for the summer goreng? Yeah, the, the the whole taste needs to be balanced. I I personally believe that when you have uh, something too spicy, what happens is that um, you know your tongue gets hurt and yeah. you you that you don't taste anything else. So you yeah. need to balance everything. So that's why the the sugar comes in, but you don't want it too sweet as well that's why i only use one tablespoon of sugar the brown sugar and yeah. uh, a little bit of sour because i think in our our palate we have like a sour sweet bitter spicy all that taste right that we have in yeah. our palate so we yeah. need to satisfy that if you like it super spicy go for it all you right. know but please don't invite me I <laughs> <laughs> so we have a, a question so can can mm. uh, they use halloumi instead of maybe tofu or instead of this uh, tempeh or soy fermented soy? Halloumi, can halloumi. in Singapore we make also definitely can do with halloumi. It will be really delicious with halloumi. But when you do it with halloumi, I personally think that you add a bit of potato in it. Because okay. uh, halloumi is also a bit salty and uh, creamy on one side, yeah. So yeah. potato will take away that saltiness a little bit from if you are going to do it with that. But in Singapore, we have it as sambal goreng pengantin, uh, or in English is uh, the bride and the bridegroom's uh, sambal goreng, sambal. which yeah, okay. is uh, typically all the yeah all the inner part, uh, the lungs, the the liver, the kidney, the uh, oh, and then, the yeah. The, 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 the cow, probably, the animal. Yeah, yeah. Or, and then we or, make that into called sambal gori pengantin. Yeah. Okay. Mm. This is so That's interesting. I mean, really? even, even pots, if some people like with seafood, maybe, and any recommendation for pescatarian, maybe, only seafood? My mommy likes to make it with uh, prawns and uh, and also with uh, ikan bilis. That's what my mommy likes to do it. So whenever she makes sambal goreng, there is uh, prawns and ikan bilis. But in all sincerity, you cannot skip the soya or the tofu. Okay. If you okay. skip this, then um, it's no longer sambal goreng. It becomes uh, sambal prawns instead, okay. or, you know, or sambal fish. So. Yeah. Sambal goreng is typically, this is the main dish, but you can be very creative. You can add whatever you want to it. Uh, yeah. Different kind of veg, or you can add also like prawns, meat, and all that. But the meat has to be at least pre-boiled because this takes quite e quite fast to cook. So the meat takes very long to cook. So the meat has to be pre-boiled if you're going to use beef. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about Malaysia. Since yeah. I'm talking to a Malaysian man now. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you want to go back. If you know, the, I was... Uh, uh, tell me. Uh, I was working... Uh, I literally grew up in Singapore, but I, most of my life, I have worked in Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur. So, yeah. basically, my my growing up is a lot... Uh, working life is a lot in Kuala Lumpur. And I... Uh, if I, whenever I fly back and I land into Malaysia or Kuala Lumpur, KLIA, you know, there is this sense of relief. Like, I feel like I'm home. But when I land on inside Chinese airport, I go like, oh my God, I cannot do this, I cannot do that. <laughs> you know, but in, in, in Malaysia, I go like, oh, I'm home. Yeah, because I, it was home for me for many, many years. And Places like, you know, Bangsa, uh, Kampung Baru, the Nasi Lama, or oh, even Chef Ismail's Rebo. Oh my God, I love their siput sedot. Ayo, can die one, eat that thing. 
Yeah? And uh, these are all the things that I really miss. And what is that Indian shop, the one, the Kopitiam, the one? Uh, Pelita. Pelita. Oh, yeah, okay. Pelita. Yeah. To go for your, your roti canai yeah. or your nasi, your rice one, banana leaf, right? Oh my god. And then they have the black color sauce and all the different, 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 different gravy. <gasps> I always tell them, uh, buat banjir, buat banjir. Buat banjir oh, means uh, flood it with all yeah. the... <laughs> flood it with all, with the, all the liquid. Yeah. yeah, and then you don't not know what you're eating, but when you eat, like, oh my god, this is heaven. So I really miss going back to Malaysia, and it's really sad that we now go through this kind of uh, time where we cannot yeah. even fly anymore. Sad, yeah, huh? That's, I mean, that's that's the thing, you know. Uh, but it makes us uh, <laughs> truly, truly remember and also understand what makes uh, food, you know. Uh, remind us a lot a lot lots of things and how beautiful food can connect all of us see now you are connected with food anywhere you are right so we talk yeah. one yeah. thing and one one uh, one voice there you go <laughs> yeah but it, it is always the food that actually bring people together if you think about it yeah so whenever friends meet they would say, where do we go? It's not like, let's go shopping. Mostly we would say, let's go eat something. Yeah, so yeah. food really connects. And having like a, the MOMC right now doing this, this is yeah. really, I, I, I think it's really wonderful because you actually connect the entire world together from different, different time zones. And then, of course, you know, if you say that, that you cannot try those food sometimes and you see the food, you go like, Oh my God, I wish I can eat that food, but you just cannot eat that food. But it is really amazing. I think food is uh, is the best thing that uh, man ever created. Is it? <laughs> or is it not created? It's necessity. <laughs> no, no, is it? It's, it's necessity. Yeah, yeah. You look, I look at the burger, the burger look at me. I look at the burger, the burger look at me. But I don't want to eat this burger. Later, somebody else has to eat. I can send it to all my friends. <laughs> yeah. So probably your, your friend might be yeah. uh, on their way or knocking your door soon to try your sambal goreng. All right. Getting their... their now pots. it's very cold. Uh, okay. yeah. I, think, I think maybe one will come and collect the food. <laughs> okay. I tried this as well. It was good. Surprisingly, as a curry puff. Yeah. So, see, um, I might try yeah. your recipe for uh, maybe sambal goreng, mi goreng. Huh? I will try later on. <laughs> sambal goreng, mi. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, no. Mi goreng. <laughs> you made me go. <laughs> Definitely can. <laughs> I did that already. <laughs> yeah. We should I'm do an kidding. entire cookbook on an entire cookbook on sambal goreng recipes. <laughs> By Lisa <laughs> That's yeah, really okay. clever. Yeah. All right, guys. That was amazing, Lisa. Who doesn't want Lisa back, right? We all want Lisa back with MONC. Am I right? <laughs> we would love to have you back again, Lisa. You've been so entertaining. <laughs> Everybody's calling for you to come back. <laughs> Thank you. So let us, oh, yeah, thank so you, let thank us know you. anytime you want to come back. Yeah, we'd love to have you. Um, yeah, thank you so much for this, guys. Don't forget, uh, if you want the recipe, you need to sign up, malaysianchefs.com slash join today. And just a quick heads up for everyone who has signed up recently. We are actually in the process of switching over our membership sites to a different platform. So you won't get a login immediately. It just It will take us about a week to transition to the new platform. In the meantime, as soon as you sign up, you will get our e-recipe book. But um, in about a week or so, you will get the login where you can access all our recipes, all our e-magazines, and also Lisa's when the e-magazine is out. And we are holding out to Norman Nusa here to get the e-magazines out. <laughs> uh, he's a little bit busy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks again so much, Lisa. We would love to have you back. So um, let Thank us know you. anytime. And Thank we'll you. schedule you in. That was so entertaining. Everybody loved your recipe and your creative twist on sambal goreng. Who knew that this would, could be something that was so, like, you know, 
so, you know, so, so unique in that you can do so many different things with that. I've only ever known of sambal goreng as something you eat with rice and that was it. So um, yeah, brilliant idea. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you again so much, everyone. And make That's sure it. you tune in again for our next session, which is on Wednesday with Masa Apa Tak Jadi Hari Ini. And uh, until then, Danke schön, good night, and uh, we will see you again. Ciao, guys. And we'll bump Ciao, up as bye usual bye. with uh, and uh, so you can dream now and travel later. Thank you, Renee. Thank you, Lisa. Ciao. Hey,